We were very, very concerned about this interview with this guy. Now we're, we were going to be sitting here talking to a sociopath who believed he had done nothing wrong. The first thing, you're not under arrest. At that point, what was important was to allow him, allow him to establish his narrative. I didn't want to walk in there predisposed to what I thought. I wanted him to lead me down the road of where he is. I want to go back to the time when you first met Michelle. We met at work. I think, you know, when Phil lets him tell his narrative, he's finding out about the mindset of Mark. He's listening to certain things about Mark's life, minor things even about his diabetes, and all that's going to play out and be very important. But at some point in time, you have to confront him about something. Let's get to last Saturday, the 22nd. Okay. And what's your walks out and slams the door to a room. And about well, 10, 15 minutes later, I open the door to say, well, you know what? And Scott. The key is, what are two things people hate to be called? A liar and a thief, right? So you don't want to say, hey, you're lying to me. Uh, you stole her life, you know, you, 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 I think you murdered this woman. Uh, so you got to be careful on the words that you use. You've laid the groundwork for what happened in that apartment, and I'm on board with you. And so Phil's transition into the actual uh, point where he's going to confront Mark, uh, I thought was outstanding. I need you to explain to me what happened we well him. remember in the interview room i mean we're looking at everything all the components of the interview we're looking at body language we're listening to what they're saying we're listening to the way they are saying it because that's going to allow us to frame where we're going to go and as you're watching him you're altering what you're going to say yes. next i'm putting it together yes we've been doing this a, a long time uh, and the art of the interview, I mean, there just comes that point where you know now's the moment. I want you to explain to me what you felt like you had to do to protect Caden. You brought up Caden. Yes. What was the strategy in that? Well, obviously, Caden was the most important part of his life. In his narrative, this was pretty much all about protecting Caden. So I knew that I was going to have to frame whatever he did in that apartment, in that context. It wasn't about hurting Michelle. This was about protecting Kate. If you continue to keep it, it will fester. Well, Phil was masterful in telling a complex story about how something so terrible could go so wrong and broke it down very simply for Mark. And he was able to use visuals, something that Mark could focus in on. It'll eat away at you like that diabetes is eating away at you in your foot. It was a fantastic visual for him to completely understand and make that connection. And that's what it's about. Phil and I often talk about it's making that connection with the person in the room.